हेलो पीपल वेलकम बैक दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट 2005 एग्जाम इट्स एक्चुअली अ कॉमन डाटा क्वेश्चन दैट मींस वी हैव टू पार्ट्स ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन टू मार्क्स फॉर ईच पार्ट सो लेट मी फर्स्ट रीड पार्ट वन इट सेज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट फॉर्मेट यू कैन सी फर्स्ट बिट इज द साइन बिट देन यू हैव एक्सपोनेंट बिट्स एंड एक्सपोनेंट इज सेव्ड इन एक्सेस सिक्सटी फोर देन देर आर मंटीसा बिट्स they are saying mantissa is a pure fraction in sign magnitude form the decimal number 0.239 into 2 raised to the power 13 has the following hexadecimal representation without normalization and rounding off okay so we need to represent 0.239 into 2 raised to the power 13 in this representation okay so let us first convert this into binary okay so 0.239 9 plus 9 is 18 so you get a 1 here 3 plus 3 is 6 and 1 7 2 plus 2 is 4 so this is 0. Point something so the first bit is 0 okay it is 0.0 this is the first bit now let us again add 478 0.478 8 plus 8 is 16 7 plus 7 is 14 and 1 15 4 plus 4 is 8 and 1 9 okay so again second bit after decimal point is 0 okay sorry second bit after radix point is zero so now again add 956 0.956 you will get 1 point something okay so next bit will be 1 so 6 plus 6 is 12 this will be 1 and 9 plus 9 is 18 plus 1 19 now let's just continue this procedure and i'll add 0.912 again so you can see we are going to get 0.001111 so 0.001111 okay let us see what will be the next bit so 0.59 plus 0.59 will be more than 1 okay so here we will we will be having 1 okay now this number the given number is 0.00 then 4 times 1 01 into 2 raised to the power 13 okay we need to represent this in mantissa bits and 2 raised to the power 13 the exponent is 13 which is the actual exponent needs to be biased okay they are saying exponent is saved as xs 64 that means bias value is 64 so look sign is positive so we will be having zero here let us leave some space for exponent bits we want to save mantissa here mantissa is of 8 bits that means you need to continue this procedure to 8 bits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 I have done till seven. Next bit is one. I am telling it to you. Okay. So let us save all of these bits. It is zero, zero, one, two, three, four. Four times one and zero, one. Okay. See, don't normalize it. Don't shift this decimal here, and don't just change this value. Okay. They are asking. We need not normalize, or we need not round it off. Okay. now we need to represent this uh, exponent in these bits they are seven bits also exponent has to be biased so after biasing it will become 64 plus 13 64 plus 13 okay 
that is 77. Let us see how can 77 be represented in bind. This number is 64. To this, if we add 13, we are going to get 77. So 13 is double one zero one. Last four bits will be changed to double one zero one. This is 77 in binary. That means we will save these bits in exponent field. They are one double zero double one zero one. Okay. Now let us see what is the answer. For the given number, this is the representation that we found out. They are asking us to just convert this number into hexadecimal. Let us do that. So we have 4. See, 0, 1, double 0 is 4. After that, this is 13. 13 means D. Okay, in hexadecimal, 13 is D. This is 3 and this is again D. So our answer is 4D3D. Let us see if it's present in the options. Okay, I've noted down the options. So yeah, option D is 4D3D. So answer is option D. Okay, now I'll just read the second part. Second part of this question says, Mantisa is pure fraction in sign magnitude form the normalized representation of above format is specified as follows. The Mantisa has an implicit one preceding the binary or red X point. Assume that only zeros are padded while shifting a field. The normalized representation of above number that is 0.239 into 2 raised to the power 13 is. Okay, so let us solve this question also. Now we need to normalize this number. See, when we normalize it, this red X point will be shifted here. Okay, it will be shifted after the first one. It is mentioned in the question. Okay, let me read that line once again. The Mantisa has an implicit one preceding the binary red X point. That means this is that one. Okay, this is implicit. We need not save this one in Mantisa. So the new number that we are going to get is C. If we shift this red X point three digits to the left, sorry, to the right, you are going to get 1.1101. So I've written 1.1101. This two raised to the power 13 is left as it is. Now for compensating the shift of this red X point, we need to divide this by 2 raised to the power 3. So I'm multiplying it with 2 raised to the power minus 3. This will become 2 raised to the power 13 minus 3. Okay, 13 minus 3 is 10. So we are left with 2 raised to the power 10. Okay, now see, we have found out what is Mantisa. Mantisa is this. Okay, let us just write it. The number is positive. That means sign bit is 0. Next, we need to save exponent in 7 bits. Okay, so I'm leaving 7 bits. Let us first save Mantisa in 8 bits. So this has to be saved in 8 bits. 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. Now just fill all the bits as zeros. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means we need 3 zeros. This is Mantisa in 8 bits. Please don't add zeros to this side. Zeros have to be added here because this number is actually 1.1101000 and so on. Okay, there are infinite zeros. Okay, so we are representing this. Now this exponent has to be saved in XS64 format. Okay. This is 64. Okay. If we want to save 2 raised to the power 10 in XS64, we are actually going to save 74. 
ओके बाइस्ड एक्सपोनेंट इज सेवेंटी फोर एक्चुअल एक्सपोनेंट इज टेन नाउ टू सेव सेवेंटी फोर हेयर आई एम जस्ट टर्निंग ऑन दिस फर्स्ट बिट If this bit is on, that means the value is sixty-four. This number is sixty-four. Now we need to save ten more. Okay, so ten is one zero one zero. This will become one zero one zero. This number is seventy-four. Okay. Now just convert it into hexadecimal. So the first four bits represent four. Then you have. Ten. Ten means a. It is four a. Then you have fourteen. Okay, fourteen is e. Four a. Four a. E eight. The answer is four a. E eight. Let us see if it's present in the options. Yeah, option A. Sorry, option D is four a. E eight. Answer to second question is this. Answer to first question is this. Okay. Okay, so we have already seen the solution to this question as well as its second part. But I forgot to mention one point. In offline classes, some students used to think we have two sign bits, one sign bit here and one sign bit here. The reason is in question they are mentioning mantissa is saved in sign magnitude form. That does not mean we have a sign bit here. See, sign magnitude form is suppose we have four bits. So first bit is the sign bit. And remaining three bits will be magnitude. Okay. Minus three will be represented like one for minus and zero one one for three. This is sign magnitude form. Mantissa is saved in sign magnitude form. Does not mean that you have a sign bit here. Sign bit is this only. Okay. So this is magnitude and this is the sign of mantissa. For example, if we want to represent minus zero point two three nine, in that case, the mantissa will be represented like whatever we have seen earlier. Okay, this is sign of that mantissa. This is the sign bit. Okay, we'll just save this minus here. Okay. 